the difference is with respect to our listeners, I've never gotten a sense from Bernie Sanders that his argument about, or uh, or Elizabeth Warren's for that matter, has a racial um, uh, piece to it or gender piece to it. You can't listen to Donald Trump and not feel the racist uh, and the and the and the um, misogyny. Men aren't doing well. White men aren't doing well because of those other people. You don't get that at all from the argument that Sanders makes, which is an argument that says we're all in the same boat. Well, so they're, they're very the, the 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 end result's the same, but 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 how they're saying it's there's different. A, there's a commonality. What you're saying is there's a commonality of disaffection. It's how you <coughs> channel that di- disaffection right. that changes. It it, it in a, in a, in a huge way <clears throat> when you listen to Bernie Sanders. <clears throat> he's talking about all of us. When you listen to Donald Trump articulating the same issues, it's the reason you don't have a job, Matt, is because you're a white guy and you're not a woman, you're not a minority. Those people are coming in and taking our jobs. And and there's, that is a fairly huge fundamental difference that ne- it really hasn't been articulated yet in the press. 